Hello, my name is Dr. Adrienne Hicks, and I'm the founder and professor of the USMLE Master System. Today I'd like to conclude our lecture series on sexually transmitted diseases. I'd like to talk to you about the rest of the discharge. We discussed previously about a purulent discharge as well as a clear discharge, but today I'd like to focus on other discharges. If you have a white, thick, curdy discharge, this can be due to Candida albicans causing a yeast infection. It's actually not a sexually transmitted disease, but it is part of a discharge series that I wanted to cover with you. A candidal infection can flourish in a vagina of a female who has either been on antibiotics for a long period of time or can be caused by perfumes or excessive douching. All of this will cause the normal flora of the vagina to clear out and allow for the yeast to flourish. So the best treatment for a yeast infection is fluconazole. And how again the yeast infection presents is going to be an itchy red vagina. So you need to go ahead and test to see if you may have a sexually transmitted disease or you can take a proper physical exam and a history and you can decipher as well. Now another type of discharge that I like to focus on is caused by bacteria vaginosis. This again can be caused by your normal flora being cleared allowing for bacterial infection to flourish. So a bacterial vaginosis infection can be caused by a bacteria called Gardnerella vaginosis. Gardnerella is going to present with again an itchy but a foul smelling discharge that comes from the vagina and it can be a grayish discharge and it will alarm the female that something's going on with her upon sex when she smells the discharge and she's going to present to you. Now you can get a smear doing pap and you can see a normal epithelial cell covered with bacteria. Some people don't treat it right away unless it's bothering the female but the best treatment for bacterial vaginosis is metronidazole. So again, treat it and be done with it and you can move on. But again, it's not a sexually transmitted disease, but we do want to cover it in the discharge series. Now, if you have any questions, continue to send those to questions at usmlemastersystem.com. And tune back in for the rest of our video series on sexually transmitted diseases.